Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss uh, the lead card problem, best time to buy and sell stock. So given an array of numbers which represents the price of stock every day, we have to find the maximum profit by buying a, and selling a stock if we are allowed a maximum of k transactions. So the condition is that we can buy a stock only after selling the previous stock that we have. For example, in this case, if we have k is equal to 2, the maximum profit we can obtain is buying the stock on day 0 and selling the stock on day 1, which is 5, plus buying the stock on day 2 and selling the stock on the last day, which is 40 minus 2, which is... 43 so to solve this problem we will we'll use dynamic programming so to solve this problem we will take two arrays buy and sell of size k where buy k will store maximum profit that can be obtained by doing at most k by transactions similarly sell k will store max profit that can be obtained by doing at most k sell transactions so for any given day let's say i th day the price of the stock is pi and we have two options Either we can buy or not buy on IF day, we can sell or not sell on IF day. And we have to take this decision for all of the K transactions where J is from 1 to K. What does that mean is that Since we are allowed maximum of k transactions, at ev every transaction j, we will decide whether we have to make jth transaction on i day or not. In other words, if we don't make j transaction on i day, we simply don't buy the stock on IF day then the maximum profit by doing at most J buy transactions would be same as the maximum profit by doing J at most buy transactions if we didn't if we bought the JTS Jth, if we did the jth transaction earlier than the ith day if we decide to do the jth transaction on the ith day then we will be in the loss of pi since we are buying the jth time buying for jth time on ith day but will be in the profit of sell j minus 1 which means we have we will will get the maximum profit by doing j minus 1 cell tra tra transactions in fact it's less than equal to j minus 1 cell transactions similarly we can decide to sell on day i and if we don't sell on j day i 
then the maximum profit by at most j transactions will remain same. But if we decide to sell on day i, then we earn a profit of pi and we earn the profit, maximum profit that we can earn by doing j buy transactions. So this means that we can sell we can have a jth sell transaction only if we have done j buy transactions because we can sell only after buy and we can do the jth buy transactions only after doing j minus 1 sell transactions now let's consider a corner case when we are allowed more than the prices the size by two transactions so what i'm trying to say that let's say we are we were given infinite transactions let's consider a problem when we can buy and sell as much times as we want it's just we have to make sure that we have to sell the current stock before buying another one so we'll up follow a greedy approach whatever we can on a little bit profit we'll just put that into our pocket which means if prices on next day is greater than prices on the current day we'll just add this profit into our answer and this will give us the optimal answer if we are given the infinite transactions but let's say the case when we have we are allowed transactions greater than prices dot size by two. So what I'm trying to say is that this case is equivalent to infinite transactions case because even we when we when we are allowed to do infinite transactions, the optimal solution can't have more than prices dot size by two transactions. To make you understand this more, let's say the price goes on increasing every day. In that case, we just have to make one transaction and we'll earn a profit of 5 minus 1, that's 4. The worst case scenario when we have to buy and sell again and again would be the case when, let's say, the stock price increases from 9 to 10 and then it decreases and then increases, then decreases, then increases, then decreases, then it increases. So in this case, we have to buy here, sell here, earn a profit of one. Again, buy here, sell here, earn a profit of one. Buy here, sell here, again a profit of one. Buy here, sell here, again a profit of one, which will give us a total profit of four. So this is the worst case scenario where we have to make prices just size by two transactions. So if we are given more than that kind of transactions, we'll, we'll simply, we'll simply follow, follow this criteria that if prices is greater than the current price we'll just add it to the answer and we'll return this answer so uh, we are discussing this because there are few cases when k is very very high on lead code so handle though to, to handle those cases it's better not to waste so much space as it shows memory limit exceeded error on lead code and follow this approach so net now let's try to see this code in C++ on lead code. Hi, so let's try to see this code in practice. So I'm storing the size of the prices array in my variable n. And if we, if k is 0 or n is 0, we simply return the max profit to be 0. So this is the case when the number of times we can make transactions is greater than n by 2 and as discussed previously in that case we simply see that if price is i plus 1 is greater than price is i that we can earn on the next day we become greedy and just add the profit as soon as we can simply keep on adding these profits and we return the answer otherwise we create two arrays buy and sell 
we initialize the by array with the negative infinity value we initialize the cell array with zero value then we observe prices one by one so on the zeroth day sorry on the zeroth time when we are buying we don't have any option we can't sell anything so either we buy and get a profit negative profit of p or we don't buy and we simply make the maximum profit which we already have and continue with that similarly we can have our first sell transaction by not doing the sell transaction for for the price p that we are getting right now or we can do the sell transaction by earning the price p and buying the and buying at least at least at least one stair with one stock which is stored in by zero so this is a generic case we can make j by transactions and we can decide that whether we have to make a buy transaction at price p if we don't make a buy transaction at pi price p then we simply consider the j by transactions done earlier otherwise we include the current transaction by selling by maximum profit by selling or uh, doing j minus one sell transactions and earning a negative profit of minus p similarly we can we can either not sell not have a jth sell transaction for price p and simply continue with whatever sell j we already have or we can do a jth sell transaction by getting a profit of buy p and getting a profit of p and getting a profit by doing j buy transactions and finally we return the maximum amount of profit that we can do by doing k minus 1 or less sell transactions so i hope the code is very clear if you have any doubts please feel free to comment share so this is my first video I'm creating and I'm improving a lot day by day. So please forgive me for any mistakes that might have crept in. I hope that uh, that you'll find these videos useful as I'm con trying to cook make more and more of these videos. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye bye.